letter, a formal letter, right? Now, before I introduce this letter to you, I would like to share with you an incident that happened in my housing area last week. Now, while I was standing outside my house, there was a motorcycle that was sort of speeding right across right my house. Unfortunately, this guy rode into a pothole and he fell down. Fortunately, he was not seriously injured. Okay, a few scratches here and there. He got up and then just rubbed his hand in there and then he looked at the pothole and probably he cursed the pothole and he was on his bike again and he left. Now, what was the cause of the accident? The pothole, sir. Okay, the pothole. Okay, the pothole. Uh, you know, someone created the pothole? No. no. Right? Ah, it has, you know, over the months or years, uh, from a small hole, it became a big hole and became uh, problematic to the road user. Now, we have a lot of problems of this nature in every housing area in Salohinta. Now, what can we do about this pothole problem? Okay, we can complain to JKR. Why do you think we, we should complain to JKR? Because the problem is related to the road. Yes, the problem is related to the road. And who is in charge of, uh, who is the, uh, which authority is in charge of taking care of the roads? Uh, yeah. JKR. Yeah, JKR. So like this, huh, we have lots of problems. We okay? have lots of problems in the housing area. Now, what we are going to do now is, <coughs> right, we are going to identify what are the problems that you find in your respective residential area. Now, I want you to discuss among the group members what are the problems that you find in your housing area. Now, use the circle map and write down the points that you have generated within your group. Okay, you can start. Problem with stray dogs? Yes. Who has uh, experienced a stray dog chasing you? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, last week, sir. Last week, the stray dog chased me, sir. Okay, very good. Why were you carrying some bones or something? Not sure, sir. Not sure. Okay, what happened? Uh, I'm just walking around my area, sir. Then suddenly the dog chased me, sir. Because he's full of flesh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Okay. Now we do have problems of stray dogs, isn't it? Yes. Okay, in housing area. Okay, that can be a problem as well. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want group representatives to come forward, take your paper, margin paper, alright, stick it on the whiteboard and share the information with the other students in the class. Findings of his group and Marcus is going to write down okay all the ideas. Okay? Okay, one of the uh, problem uh, we face in our neighborhood area is open money. Next, the criminal activities are increasing over the year. Finally, the rubbish are thrown everywhere by the neighborhood. Okay, the first one is open burning, and then we have rubbish. Okay, thrown everywhere. Okay, rubbish are or rubbish is. Okay, this might be rubbish is thrown everywhere. And uh, the last one we have here is criminal activities. activities. Okay, that is. Okay, these are the problems faced by residents. Okay, in group one. Okay. All right, thank you. you must elaborate okay elaborate the point now we're going to see how to elaborate the point all right now to show this okay i'm going to show you okay a sample a writing 
Okay, any volunteers? Anybody want to read this? Please. Okay. The public telephones are not working. They have been vandalized by irresponsible people. The residents are unable to use the public telephones. The authorities do not make any attempts to solve this problem. Right? So you see, when you write a letter of complaint, right? The idea must be done, the idea must be written in brief, not much elaboration, no flowery language. Get okay, straight to the point, right? Okay, each group member come forward, take one of this module paper, and then discuss in your group, highlight one problem, and elaborate on that problem, like what I've done here. I want the group members to come forward and read out your writing so that the others can see what ideas you have. Okay, now we give the chance to group two and group three. All right, some is going to read what you have written. Okay. Sometimes you might see an area which has been abandoned, only with grass, infested with stray animals and litter with garbage. Some of these abandoned areas are also caused by Abandoned projects such as unfinished row of shops, abandoned new loop, shortage of money and manpower. Okay, so we have a abandoned area, problems with abandoned area. What are the problems? Okay, and uh, okay, how are we going to solve this problem? You must report to the relevant authorities. In this case, the relevant authorities in every area is the local town council. They will look into their problem. If nobody is reporting, how are they going to know about the problem? Yeah. Now, this is the format of a formal letter. How we are going to write, what you are going to write in the letter. Now, let's say this is your paper, huh? your writing pad or whatever. Okay, on the top left hand corner, you are going to write your address. Okay. Right? Now, if you are writing from the school, what address are you going to write here? School address. School address. If you are writing from your house. Okay, now the problem is your housing area. What address? Your address. Don't write your neighbor's address. Okay? Your address. Okay? Now, next one, okay, you draw a line. Okay? Then you write the receiver's address. Now, who is going to be the receiver here? The town council. The town council. In the town council, who is going to read your letter? Who is the head of the town council? Me. Director. What do we call? Who is the head? Okay, in the school, who is the head of the school? The principal. The principal. Like what every department you have? The boss. Yes. Okay. So here we write the president. And then give the address. And then you write the date. Date, okay, below this line, you can write the date here. You write the date. 22 today. 22. Okay, May. Okay. Capital letter. Capital letter. And then the year. Alright? No full stop. Okay, that's no full stop. And then below the address, you're going to write. To whom are you sending? So here you write, dear. The sir, S must be capital letter with a comma. Right? Then you come to the title of the letter. The title of the letter will be a letter of complaint. Make it simple. A letter of complaint. So when they read the letter, they look at the heading, oh, letter of complaint. Right? They will know what is it about. Okay? And then you write all your complaints here. Huh? Okay, all the red lines here are. The content you're going to write. Okay, when you end your letter, you end with your thank you, and then sign, and then what do you do? This is important. You must write your name here. Put it in, write a capital letter, write your. Okay? So that is how 
Do you like a format or not? Let's see. All right. If you look at this worksheet, I put all these blanks here. Now, all the blanks here, you fill up your own particulars. Assuming you are the resident of your neighborhood, you are going to write a letter. You are going to write a letter. And down here, I wanted to write each one of you going to write one complaint. Okay, while you are here, now there is a question from uh, group three. Now, do you write number for the paragraph? In English letter writing, formal letter writing, we do not write the number. Okay? Unlike the Bahasa Malaysia letter, we have numbers, isn't it? Yes. Alright. But in English, we do not expect students to write number. For the paragraph, right? But if you write it, it's okay, nothing, nothing wrong. But in English letter writing, we do not have to. Okay? Okay, Chu. I want to come forward. All right. I wanted to write the letter format. All right. Okay, she has written the format of the letter. Yes, right? That is okay? Here, yeah, your, you must, you must have, okay, you must have, okay, come on. Where? Okay, yours faithfully, you must have a comma. Don't forget this, comma. Any others? Okay, we go one by one. What about receiver's address, okay? okay. Yes. Receiver's address, the date, yes. all right? Dear sir, yes. with a comma, capital letter, and this will be the title. And then we have, after writing the content, thank you, yours, faithfully, you sign and write your name. So this, this is a must in your letter. After you write the title, should we put a full stop there? Okay, after writing the title, should we put a full stop? Yes. No. Do you put a full stop? No. Good. No full stop. Alright? You just underline the title. Okay, you just read now. With reference to the above, I would like to file a complaint regarding the presence of potholes in my neighborhood's roads. These potholes are caused by irresponsible people who drive overweight vehicles on these roads. I believe that these problems will cease to exist if the authorities make an effort and take action to solve them. I hope that the appropriate actions are carried out as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Well done. You see, he has started off. All right. A good introduction. And then elaborated the first point. All right. First point has been elaborated. Likewise, if you have, uh, let's say, five complaints, then you write every paragraph, you write one from. Don't, do not put two complaints in one paragraph. Okay, one paragraph, one complaint, not much elaboration, just enough elaboration, and then put a thank you, yours faithfully, and then you send the letter. Alright? Now, what are the complaints that we have highlighted in today's uh, uh, problem faced by the neighborhood? Okay, Joseph, give one point. Lack of infrastructure. Lack of infrastructure, alright? Illegal racing. Okay, any other problems we have? Rubbish everywhere. Rubbish everywhere. That is a problem in every housing area. So we find uh, there are a lot of problems faced by the residential people, or people in a residential area. So how do we solve this problem? How do we, uh, we help by writing a letter to the town council. Solve the problem by our Okay? Now we've come to the end of the lesson. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to go back. Okay, I wanted to write a letter of complaint in your exercise book. Okay? Highlight three points. I only want you to highlight three points, elaborate as you have done just now. 
using this format that we have learned, write a letter of complaint to the town council, okay, in the exercise book, and bring your homework after you have completed next.